you and Priscilla talking? He's all right. And she say anything about me? She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible, got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Or she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh... Been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Gods. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Uh, her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly, someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. Who could have done this? That I do not know. I do, however, know she is not the perpetrator's first victim. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside. Often, doctor? As often as required for uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Mm hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. You lead. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Let's look at his head. 
Hair smells like it's burnt, like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Just like Priscilla's. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed. And there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience, Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please. Because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Sure of one thing. This was punishment. Even the witch hunters don't engage in this kind of torture. What sin could possibly merit it? Only the murderer knows that. And it's the key to finding him. Or her. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. Very well. smell. Formaldehyde. A brazier. This time of year. Grab him! Cease. That him. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. Fucking come on! Son of a whore! Return to the scene of their crime. Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much, but I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up pouring, pick up a decent trade, 
but none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. <laughs> Oi, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Queen's bandits dropped them. Plain as them. <laughs> Everyone knows you can wear a quiver on your back, not souls. Amateur. Ah, human. bandits. Can't go out in the streets no more. At least the father didn't used to kill them. You, Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no uh, one of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off. Mutant. That half a coin? Fine. Have some. Now talk. What did you find on him? Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner slit as new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We short of wenches in this town. Oi, fucking hell! What was that for? For everything. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you, especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. 
Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her, now. What are your wounds? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, I'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagel, bud. Just no trickery. Understand? Oh, Geralt! What a pleasant surprise! Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw Mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our gods... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, uttered not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Between your eyes. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. For it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother, why did he do this to her? Why? I don't know. Too early to draw any conclusions. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but... Usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please.
bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. I see you mean me to grab at me? Oh, no! no one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though? Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again, you disturb me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. <laughs> Achievable with whores in a lot of ways, many traditional. Doesn't take killing them, trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims. I know how they end. You don't stop. Not unless someone gets in your way. Like I'm doing now. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <coughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner. Said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with Sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. Then you'll pay again. For her, for all the other women you've tortured. Ah! Come on, come closer. You're free now. And I said, for the right price, of course. And then he smiled. Oh, God, it gave me the shivers. And then he hit me. So hard I passed out. I was bound when I came to. And he was here in the poker, in the fire. <laughs> Calm down. He won't hurt you anymore. He won't hurt anyone. Oh, Watch where you're going to take risks and not get fat. Run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. 
Who, what are you? A vampire? Higher, of course. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism is rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat. Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them, in a manner they'd be certain to notice. There are other ways. Could have set up a soapbox in Hierarch Square, preached from it. How funny. That's exactly what I did. But none listened. Instead they laughed, through stones. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spend his last copper on whores. An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A Trebirates for whom nothing was sacred, nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Awaken them, scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. For you, I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty good with a sword. Pretty good. My mouth cut it. What? Lost your nerve? 